Hey guys, in this video I wanted to give you an overview and a demo of Apple's iCloud that they recently released on Monday at the WWDC. And I do have my iPad running iOS 5.0 here. Um, before I begin, if you haven't actually seen my iOS 5.0 overview and live review, go ahead and check it out on my channel. Just click the little button um, that links you to my channel. But in this video, I want to specifically focus on iCloud, how it works in the iTunes store, and how you will be able to sync all of your music to all of your devices over the cloud. So first, to get us started here, I'm just going to purchase, uh, let's just say this song, Time Bomb by All Time Low. I'm going to go ahead and enter my password here. Um, and yes, I do want to buy and download the song. And as you can see, the song is downloading. Um, it'll eventually end up in my purchased items. So as you can see, it says thank you for purchasing Time Bomb by All Time Low. So if you go to purchased here, in my purchase tab, you can see there we go. All Time Low Time Bomb is actually uh, downloaded. So now I'm going to switch to my iPad and I will be right back. Alright guys, so as you can see, here's my iPad running iOS 5.0, and as you saw before, I just downloaded the song by All Time Low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the iTunes store here. As you can see, down along the bottom, we have a new tab that says Purchased. Um, go ahead and click that, it will load up. And you can see up here at the top, it says All and Not on this iPad. Um, essentially, this shows you everything you've purchased of all time or not on this iPad. Um, and you can go ahead and click All Songs, Recent Purchases, or click not on this iPad and it will show you all the songs you actually don't have on your iPad. And if you see there, it says the one song I do not have is All Time Low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into Recent Purchases here. And it will load up, as you can see. And right there is Time Bomb by All Time Low. And to download the songs that you have purchased already, all you need to do is click the little button right here. And it will start downloading as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and enter my password here. Move the camera away. Click OK. And I'll go to downloads. And as you can see, the time bomb by all time low is downloading. And I did not need to purchase it again. And uh, yeah, that's basically how iCloud works. It's really simple. And it really works well. Um, it's really good for if you accidentally forget to sync your device um, to your computer. You can just download the songs that you have purchased over iTunes straight to your device um, and yeah I'm gonna switch back to my computer now okay guys here I am back on my computer and as you saw before on my iPad um, the song did transfer directly to the iPad I didn't have to pay for it again and I could just simply download it um, that also works for the App Store they have a purchase tab just like the iTunes Store and you just click download for the apps that you have purchased on your computer and it will automatically download straight to your device it's, it works really well and you can sync music basically um, over the cloud and once you download it once you can download it on all of your devices in this way also it does work back and forth if you download something on your iOS device you can download it on your computer as you can see down here I'll show you what you do you, it says download previous purchases when you're on your purchase tab go ahead and click that and you'll be taking to a new actual purchase tab and as you can see it shows you all the songs you've purchased um, not on your library here or all again you can also do this with apps it'll show you all the apps that you've downloaded and you can also do this with your iBooks um, and as you can see it works exactly the same way you just click the little download here and it will download straight to your computer so that's how iCloud works I'm really excited about this um, one last question that I want to have answered before I end this video a lot of people have been asking me what about CDs how will you sync CDs like what if you did not purchase the songs or uh, music on your computer um, like what if you burned a CD onto your computer well basically the answer is simple once you put your music on your computer, um, in the fall they will actually have Wi-Fi sync. So all you need to do is sync your iPod, uh, your iPod or iPad or iPhone straight to your computer. All you need to do is open up your computer, um, open up your iPad or iOS device, and sync wirelessly. So it basically is similar to the cloud, but you will have to sync wirelessly. But it's a lot better than having USBs. That's how iCloud is going to work. However. 
and it really is a great service. I'm really excited about this. Again, this is available now if you have the iOS 5 beta. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till the fall. But hopefully you guys like this video. This was just a general overview of iCloud. Um, if you did, go ahead and click the little subscribe button above the video. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching, guys. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, visit my website, and like me on Facebook in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.